You're lucky that didn't just hit my head. Wait, what is this? A YouTube plaque? My soulmate's a YouTuber? Hey, what did your soulmate send you? Oh, this is YouTube plaque. He's a YouTuber? I guess so. What YouTuber is it? I don't know. I haven't checked it out yet. Um, what are you waiting for? Do it now. I don't know. What if I don't like him or something? I'd rather meet him first. Can I at least see the name? Fine. I love money one, two, three. What kind of a name is That's that? That's exactly why I didn't want to search him up. Did you guys hear? No, hear what? Apparently, there's an influencer joining our class Wait, today. are you for real? Yeah, everyone's talking about it. Class, please welcome our new student. Hello, everyone. Do you think it's him? I don't know. Morning. Why do you look like that? You look like what? Uh, just see for yourself. Ah! Why do I look like this? Your soulmate probably did it. He made me look like an emo girl. Everyone's gonna make fun of me at school. You're overreacting. How am I overreacting? Look at me. I hate the stress too. Just stop complaining, you're almost late for school. Hey, whoa, what happened to you? Don't even ask. Wait, why do you look so much like Selena Gomez? I guess my soulmate has a crush on her. Do you think your soulmate's Justin Bieber? Girl, I wish. Hey. What do you want? If you're here to comment about my appearance, you can go- Actually, I was gonna say, I really like your style today. Thanks. I'm not doing it. But I'm closest to the money. Hey. So what number are you on? 99. Oh, that means you're getting the money. So what's the task? I don't know. I haven't gotten one yet. That's strange. Anyway, um, what task are you on? I'm only on 70. I still have a long way to go. What's wrong? Nothing. I need to go to the bathroom. What does this even mean? No, I refuse. Hey Amara, I lied. I'm actually on level 99. I'm sorry about what I'm about to do, but I really need the money. Hey mom. Hey, before you go to school, can you give this box to your teacher? What's inside? It's something I wanted to return to him. Don't open it though, please. Okay. It's a small box. I wonder what's inside. Amara! Hey! What's that little box you're carrying? Oh, it's just something my mom told me to give to the teacher. Oh, what's inside? I don't know. I'm not allowed to open it. Okay, class, you're free to go home now. Hey, this is from my mom. Oh, what is it? Nothing, never mind. Remember the box I was supposed to give to my teacher? Can you open it for me, please? Yeah, sure. So, what's inside? It's a... So, what's inside? It's a... It's a ring. What? Let me see. No way. Our teacher proposed to my mom? That's crazy. What the hell? But why didn't she tell me? She probably didn't want you to know. That's so unlike her. I need to give this to him. That's so strange. Why doesn't my future self want me to give him the ring back? I don't know, but I think you should listen to the warnings. No, this doesn't make any sense. I'm going to give it back to him. And besides, I don't want him marrying my mom. So it's best he knows that she doesn't want to marry him either. Hey, sir, my mom wanted you to have this. Oh, I see. Thanks, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Well, that was creepy. What's he going to do? Kill her for not wanting to marry him? Wait, that's a dead-ass phone. What are you, like, poor? It belonged to my dead mom, asshole. Amara, are you coming to that party tonight? One second. I'll be right back. Okay, class, I hope you're ready for the test. Miss, Amara's on her phone. Just leave me alone, will you? So who's really texting you? I don't know. Someone's definitely trying to prank me. Hey, did you drop this? Oh yeah, thanks. Is everything okay? Yeah. Okay, everyone, I'm coming to collect the homework. I should probably drop science. Hey, nice shoes. Thanks. 
That's a cute family. What? Um, nothing. Watch this video of me playing football. When's your next football game? Don't you hate football? Me? No, I love watching it. Cool, come tonight at 7.30. See you there. Hey, get out of my way. That's never happened before. Mom, someone hit me and I saw nothing. Like, it was all black. Oh, no. What? Please give me like 200,000 or something. 100,000? Even better. How many breaths did you get? I got 400 million. I got 100,000. What? How are you not freaking out? I'm going to send you some. No! What is your issue? What do you mean? I don't want you to die. Not everyone wants to live for a long time, Amanda. What are you doing? What does it look like? I'm trying to run out of breaths. Why would you want to... Shh! Just leave me alone. Finally, it's been the longest month of my life. Wait, I'm not going to let you die. Yeah, me neither. Guys, wait. Now no one can stop me. Oh, shit. Dad or brother? I wonder what this does. Do I get to, like, control him or something? Alex, what are you doing? Eating ice cream. What does it look like? Oh, so that's what that does. What? Nothing. Enjoy your ice cream. This power is useless. Why would I want to know what he's doing 24-7? Does it look like I care? A car? Shouldn't he be in class? Amara? Yes, sir? Do you know where your brother is? He didn't come to school today. We have a very important test. Looks like he ditched class to go play football with his friends in the park. I see. Thanks for letting me know. No worries. But, Mom, I... No buts. You're grounded. Go to your room. Ooh, he's brave. Mom, Alex just knocked out. He's at a party. What? How do you know? He just posted on Instagram. Are you wearing my top? No. Yes, you are. You always wear my clothes. You know what? Did you just give me a dislike? Yes, I did. You deserve it, bitch. Mom, she just gave me a dislike. What did you do? I just borrowed her top. But you didn't ask. You know what? Mom, she just disliked me. Stop it, both of you. This is serious. You can't keep giving each other dislikes. Now go to your rooms. Okay, everyone, you're free to go home now. If you enjoyed the class today, please give me a like. Guys, stop disliking. You're gonna... What the hell just happened? What? I was just on two dislikes. How did it go up to nine? Amara, someone's spreading a rumor about you. Everyone's saying you kissed Jenny's boyfriend. What? No, that's not true. Hey, you. Did you kiss my boyfriend? I didn't. I promise. Stop lying to me. I'm giving you a dislike. No, wait. Hello? I have a case for you. I'll be right there. You'll be looking into a missing girl's case. She's been missing for 20 years. Okay, yeah. No problem. I really hope I don't mess this up. Hello? Hi, um, I'll be the PI looking into your case. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Can I come in? Yeah, of course. So, how old would your daughter be now? 22. And her birthday? May 1st. Oh, that's mine too. How old was she when she went missing? She was only two. May I see a picture of her? I know she was really young, but anything helps. Yeah, here. Um, why do you have a picture of me? Here you go. Um, why do you have a picture of me? It's not you, it's your twin sister. Her name is Bella. This has to be a joke. I don't have a twin sister. Yes, you do. You have to believe me. I'm leaving. Please don't go. We're your parents. No, you're not. Please pick up, please pick up. Hello? Mom? What's going on? Please tell me I'm not adopted. Did she just hang up on me? I need to do some research about this. My whole life's been a lie. You came back. You have five minutes to tell me the truth. Come on in. You were kidnapped when you were only two years old. Someone took you from us. Honey, congratulations on your height. Wow, I'm pretty tall. Everyone stops at 160 centimeters when they but turn why? 16. Because after that, nobody grows anymore. Whoa, you've grown so much. Yes, I'm already 130 centimeters. I'm 140. I'm sad that we're going to stop growing. I really wanted to be tall. Class, time to take measurements. Amara, you go first. 150 centimeters. Congratulations. I'm 160 centimeters tall. 
Happy birthday, honey. You've grown so much. Thank you, mom. Your height is 160 centimeters, just like me and your dad. Are you not happy? Yeah, I'm very happy. Oh my gosh, look. What are you guys talking about? Your height. Come with me now. We have to speak with you. Is this your mom's phone number? Yeah, that's right. I came as quick as I can. What's happening? Your daughter has not stopped growing. How is this possible? Well, we suspect that she is the daughter of... We suspect that she is the daughter of someone very tall. What's going to happen now? We're going to have to send you to a school, especially for tall people like you. You can't study with shorter people anymore. This is Amara. She'll be studying here from now on. Whoa, she's so tall. Are they also children of someone tall like me? Don't speak about that in class, okay? Why? Hey, you're so tall. Hello. Yes, I am. Why haven't you gotten your height checked yet? They didn't call me. Look at the ceiling. It's very high, isn't it? Whoa, yes it is. We can grow up to 500 centimeters. That's why we need to take our special gummies. You wanted to see me? You're new here, right? Yes. Okay, here's your gummies. Take a gummy a day to stop your growth. Did you like the book? Yeah. All students, please come for a height check. Why do they do that? Listen, Amara, if you start to grow and get stronger, they'll put you to sleep in a freezer. So, your height is 300 centimeters. It's not too bad. If you reach 500 centimeters, we're going to have to take you away. So, please remember to take your gummies. Where are they? Looking for something? <sighs> yes, I lost my gummies. You can just take one of mine. But aren't they different? I think they're all the same. Good morning. Did everyone take the gummy? Yes, sir. Okay, everyone. We're going to play a game of hide and seek. Please hide in a good place so that no one will oh, find no. you. Oh, no. I'm growing again. What's going on? She's getting taller. I'm seven meters tall. What should I do now? You must eat one of these gummies to get shorter, okay? Um, one is enough. Whoa. It's working very well. Don't eat any more. Amara, you're too short to go to school here. If you don't return to your normal height by a week, you have to leave the school. How do I get my height back? I'm sorry, but we can't help you. Oh, look how short she is. She really thought she could rule the world, but in the end, she became a shorty. Maybe I'll get taller than you. I don't even want to be tall anymore. I doubt you'll ever be tall again. Sir, please, I don't want to leave the school. You need to be at least 200 centimeters to join the school. You're much shorter than that. You can just give me some special gummies so I can grow taller. You're crazy. You should never do that. Why not? Hey, you're the one who wants to be tall again, right? Yeah, that's true. I've been researching and I found these new gummies for Thanks. growth. I just didn't work much on the formula, so there might be side effects. Whoa, it's working. Look at her. She keeps getting shorter and shorter. Soon, she'll disappear completely. Hey, I found new growth gummies. But I'm scared to try it. They're much more powerful than the others. I'm sure they're going to work. Okay. Please, I hope I can let my hair loose today. Huh? Ponytail? Why do I keep getting ponytail? I just want to let my hair loose for one day. Mom, I'm going to school, okay? What hairstyle did you get today? I got ponytail again. It's okay. The important thing is that you don't break the rules, okay? Okay, I have to go. I'll see you later. Oh, look. The horse tail is coming. Why do you get ponytails every day? Right? I'm bored of seeing her hair like that. I don't know, but the important thing is that I don't break the hair rules. No wonder Jack cheated on you. He cheated on me? His girl is beautiful because her hair is always untied. Jack, why are you cheating on me? What did I do wrong? Because I'm bored of your hair. At least my new girlfriend's pretty and her hair is loose. Okay, your loss. I'm sure tomorrow I'll get loose hair. <laughs> you wish. Please let my hair be loose today. Not again. This is so embarrassing. I told my ex I'm going to have loose hair today. Now he's going to think I'm an idiot. Mom, I'm going to school. Be careful, honey. Why? I know the neighbor got pigtails, but she took them out and her consequence was... Her consequence was what? I don't want to talk about it. Hurry up and get to school. All right. Ponytail again? At this point, I'm not even surprised. I thought you'd have loose hair today. You were so sure about it yesterday when I broke up with you. First of all, you didn't break up with me. I broke up with you. And second of all, I'm not in charge of this thing. I can't break the rules. You're not as beautiful as my new girlfriend. What? You don't suspect Jack's new girlfriend. Why should I suspect her? She always has her hair untied. I only get it once a week. Looks like she's breaking the rules. Breaking the rules? Yes. 
Let me go through her bag since she's not here. What's this? If her hair is untied, why does she need to carry this many hair ties? She's definitely breaking the rules. Macy, I think Jack's girlfriend's breaking the rules. Why are you so sure? I just checked her bag and she has so many hair ties. If her hair is always loose, why does she need that many? If she's breaking the rules, why hasn't anything happened I to her? I don't know. Please let today be the day I can let my hair loose. Two pigtails? No, I'm not doing this anymore. If my ex's new girlfriend can break the rules, so can I. I'm going to school, bye. Didn't you get two pigtails? Why is your hair on time? I don't care. If others can do it, so can I. Don't. If you break the rules, you can... Don't tell me. I'm going to school. I want to show my new hair off. Jack, look at your ex. Her hair's on time. Wow, beautiful. Did the system finally let you keep your hair loose or did you cheat? I already told you. I can also get loose hair, not just your new girlfriend. I don't believe you. I don't care if you believe me or not. Did you break the rules? Yes. Amara! I told you, nothing will happen. What if, for example, I don't get caught? Everyone gets caught eventually. I'm worried about you. <sighs> Calm down. So, you opened my bag yesterday. And what if I did? Do you have anything to hide? Like maybe all those hair ties in your bag? I'm sure you broke the rules too. No, I actually didn't. We'll find out later. Please, just this once. Can I have my hair untied so I don't have to break the rules anymore? Braids? I don't even know how to braid my hair. I guess I'm going to have to break the rules again. As long as no one knows, it's okay, right? You broke the rules again? Yeah. Gosh, Amara. Why? There's a hair breaking detection system here today. They're going to be checking if anyone's Wait, breaking the rules. Wait, they're coming to this school? Yes. <sighs> hair check will start soon. Hair check will start soon? What am I going to do? Did you bring any hair ties with you? No, and also today I got braids and I don't even know how to braid my hair. I can help you. You can just use one of my hair ties. Come. No, everyone's going to think I was lying and I'm going to look bad. I don't want to. I guess I have to say goodbye to you because soon everyone's going to know the truth. You think they won't find out about you too? You also broke the rules. Don't worry, no one will find out. You'll see later. Why does Jack's new girlfriend ever get caught? She breaks the rules every single day. I don't know, maybe she knows a way around it. Amara, please come forward. There will be a hair check. I have to go. Be careful, okay? Is it true that you got your hair untied today? You didn't violate the rules, right? Yes, sir. And no, I didn't violate the rules. Let me have a look. I hope he doesn't find out. Okay, done. Wait, there's still a second check. Assistant, please bring me the comb. Yes, the hair rules are changing. Please give me loose hair so they won't find out I broke the rules again. Huh? Bold? So, turns out you did break the rules. Take her now. Where are you taking me? Just follow them. Where am I? People who violate the rules are brought here. What? You're my neighbor, the one who broke the rules, right? Yep. Now that you're here, your hair will be controlled by your soulmate and not the system anymore. Controlled by a soulmate? Yes. Oh, look who it is. My ex's new girlfriend. I thought you said you didn't break the rules. Turns out you did. Whatever, you broke the rules too. Well, at least now I know the truth about you. I've given up. It's up to my soulmate to choose my hairstyle this time. What? Why isn't it appearing? Maybe your soulmate's sleeping. <sighs> okay. I wonder what will happen if we don't listen to our soulmates and just do the hair cells we want. What happens is you won't be able to get married in the future. Wait, really? Yes. So, if I do all the hairstyles he tells me to, I can get out of this place, right? Yeah, but you'll have to follow the rules for a while. Then why isn't he giving me any hairstyles? I already told you, maybe he's sleeping. No, there must be something wrong. He can't sleep at this time. There'll be a new hairstyle tomorrow. If you don't get one by then, you can start getting worried. But for now, just relax. Come on, please choose a hairstyle for me. Still nothing? There's definitely something wrong. I have to find out. Hey, do you know the creator of this hair system? The creator of this hair system is in that room, but no one's ever seen his face. He always wears a mask. What's wrong with you knocking on my room like that? Take off the mask! And who the hell are you? Where is my soulmate? Why isn't he choosing any hairstyles for me? Your soulmate doesn't want to set any hairstyle for you. So you're free to choose whatever hairstyle you want. Take off your mask! Alright, if that's what you want, okay. You know me, right? Dave? My childhood friend, right? Actually, I made this hair system so I can meet you again. I knew you wouldn't follow the hair rules because you've always liked to do your hair however you wanted. It just made it easier to what? find you. Tell me where my soulmate is. Your soulmate's right here in front of you. Surprised, huh? I have to choose between an ordinary egg or a special egg. I choose the special egg. Don't eat it. Why can't I eat it? Because you're not supposed to eat it, you're supposed to break and it. And when can I break it? Soon, be patient. 
If you got the egg with the star on it, please let me know. Didn't you get the special egg option? No, only certain people get it. Certain people? Yes, it's very rare. Why do only certain people get the special egg? So no one has the special egg yet, right? No, no one in the school got it as far as I know. Which one did you get? Oh, um, the ordinary egg. Okay, please look out for anyone who has an egg with a star on it. If you see them, let me know. Mm-hmm. Okay, I will. Do you want to know what's inside the special egg? You have to break it first. Break it? Okay, I'll break it now. Don't. It's not time yet. Later, when the right time comes, you'll definitely be asked to break it. Okay. Students, you'll soon be asked to gather in the hall. Why do we all have to gather in the hall? To break the eggs, silly. An egg-breaking event? Yes, Amara. Why is your face like that? Don't you like breaking eggs? I do. I know you got the special egg. What? Please don't tell anyone. Don't worry, I won't. But once you break that egg, you're going to have to give me what's in it. Otherwise, I'm going to tell everyone. What? But I don't even know what's in it. You don't need to know. All you need to do is break it. Okay. Do not give the contents of the egg to anyone. Why? Because what's in it is very valuable. Valuable? Yes. But if I don't give what's in this egg to Jack, he's going to tell everyone I have the special egg. Don't worry, everyone will know that you have it soon. But if people find out, it could be bad. No, they won't be able to do anything after the contents of the egg come out. So I have to break it first? Yes. Amara, please make your way to the hall. Everyone's ready to break the egg. Okay. I just broke mine and there's so much gold. Does everyone get gold? Yes, except the ones who has the special egg. Speaking of, where's your egg? Break it now. I... Why are you scared? Just take it out. Okay, sir. I'll take my egg out now. Why are you scared? Break it now. Okay, sir. I'll take out my egg now. I chose the special egg. Sorry. Give that special egg to me now. What? No, this is my egg. Catch her and take the special egg. Luckily, no one knows I'm here. You have to quickly break the egg before anyone sees you. But what if someone steals what's in it? Don't worry, you have to break it before it's too late. Okay, but before I break it, can you please leave? I want to be alone. Okay, I'll leave now. It's safe, right? Okay, now it's time for me to break the egg. What was that? Hi, Mom. What? Who are you? Thanks for breaking the egg. But nothing came out of it. You stole the contents of the egg. Give it back now. I didn't steal anything. What am I going to do? You have to come with me. Don't leave. Okay, Mom. Stop calling me that. I'm not your mom. Who's that walking with Amara? He's so tiny and cute. Cute? He's a thief. What kind of thief? Oh, yeah, by the way, what did you do with that special egg? Nothing. He stole it. What? So he's the one that took the contents of the special egg? Yes, I already broke it, but I didn't see what's in it because he took it. Hey, little boy, come with me. Where are you taking him? I'm going to help you get whatever he stole. I can't believe I ended up getting nothing from that special egg. He didn't steal the contents of that egg. What do you mean he didn't steal the contents of the egg? He is the contents of the egg. What? If that's true, then I have to help him. Some guy took him away. The guy already knows that he came out of the egg. But he pretended to help you so you could get to him. I have to save him. Before you leave, don't forget to tell that little boy that you love him. Why would I do that? I don't even know his name. His name is Chance. Chance? What kind of a name is that? Chance! Mom? Oh, there you are. Stay right there or I'll kill him. If I kill him, I'll be rich. Rich? Yep, I have to kill him now. No, don't! Sorry I always call you mom. I only call you that because you're the owner of the egg. I can't believe I couldn't save him. Oh, don't be so sad. I'm sorry. I love you, Chance. What was that? I love you too. You're alive again? Yep, and I'm much stronger now thanks to you. I thought I killed you. How are you alive? It's time for you to pay for what you've done. Don't worry. No one's ever going to dare to bother you again. I can see my dad's salary. I don't even expect it to be a lot. He doesn't even leave the house to work. <gasps> so all this time my dad's rich? Dad! What do you want? You get one million per month? Why didn't you tell anyone? I didn't tell you because I don't want you to be spoiled. <sighs> Who says anything about being spoiled? Every day at school I'm hungry for a snack but I never have any money to buy it. Okay, starting from today I'll give you a thousand pounds a day. Okay, I have to keep your salary on private. Why are you keeping it private? 
Because I don't want my friends at school to like me just for money. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to school now. Bye. Hi, Amara. Hey. Why is your dad's salary private? Because I want to keep it private. Is there a problem with that? You put it on private because your dad's salary is poor, right? We can't be friends in that case. Bye. What? All right, it's your loss anyway. Okay, Klaus, we're going to be going on a trip to the zoo. Everyone follow me except Amara. Why, sir? Because you're poor. You won't be able to afford the visit. <sighs> but, sir, I can pay for it. How are you going to pay? You're poor. You know what? What? They said the one whose father's salary is the highest will be the president of the student union. Who said that? I heard the teacher speaking about it earlier. I think Jessica's going to win because her father's salary is the highest. Attention everyone, I will now announce the new president of the student union. Wait, you're announcing it now? Yes, the new president is Jessica. Her father's salary is 150000 150000 a month? Are you making fun of that salary? Get out of my way! Who dared to slap you like that? Some girl in class. Okay, from tomorrow you're putting my salary on public. I don't accept anyone slapping you. Look who's at school. I thought she'd be scared to come back. Yes, Jessica, she should be afraid of you. Me? Afraid of her? <laughs> Never. But if you really want to know, this is the last time I'm here. But before I leave, I want to show you something. But before I leave, I want to show you something. What? What is your dad's salary? Exactly, you don't have to pretend like his salary is high. I'm not pretending. Just so you know, my dad's salary is ten times higher than yours. Prove it then. That's right. You can't. You'll see later. Why is this happening? I'm so sick and tired of Jessica's arrogant behavior. My dad's salary is one million a month and her dad's only 150,000. What? Why don't you show it to everyone? Because it's not letting me put it on public. I wanted to show everyone that my dad's salary is higher than Jessica's. How much is your dad's salary anyway? If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Come on, just tell me. Okay, believe it or not, my dad's salary is 1 million per month. Almost 10 times higher than Jessica's dad, which is only 150,000 per month. Dad! Honey, why haven't you put my salary on public yet? That's the problem. I've tried, but it's not letting me. What do you mean? Does the system have an error or something? I don't know, but people are still bullying me. Okay, calm down. I'm going to find a solution so you can put my salary on public. I really hope you can, Dad. Hey, I got bad news. What is it? Ever since Jessica became the president of the student council, she set a rule that everyone whose dad's salary is below 5,000 has to leave what? the school. What? That's not fair. When do they have to leave by? Tomorrow. This can't happen. Do you know where Jessica is? She's at the cafeteria. Come on. Just so you know, you can't make rules for the school that only benefits you. And who's going to forbid me? Not you, because tomorrow you'll be leaving the school. Didn't you say you were leaving today anyway? No, I'm not leaving anymore because my dad's salary is 10 times more than yours. If that's true, how comes you haven't proven it yet? Be careful because no one will leave the school except you. I have to become president of the student council today so I can remove these stupid rules set by Jessica. Excuse me, can you help me please? Help you with what? I lost all my money and I can't go home. Can you lend me some? Of course. Finally, I found a good person. Thank you very much. Since you were good to me, I'll put your dad's salary on public. Huh? How did you do that? Because I'm the one who controls the system. What? How did you do that? Because I'm the one who controls the system. What? So, all this time it was you? Yes, but sometimes the system lags. Hopefully there will be no error again. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you as well. Finally, I can put my dad's salary on public. That means I can become president today. Hey, Amara! Where's Jessica? I hope she changed the stupid rule she made up. No, she hasn't. Everyone's gathered in the hall. She's making sure everyone whose dad's salary is under 5,000 gets kicked out. We need to go there, now. In accordance with the new rules I've made, starting from today, anyone whose father's salary is under 5,000 needs to leave the school immediately. I don't agree. Amara, you again. You can't stop me. I'm the president of the student council. Sir, I want you to replace me with Jessica as the new president of the student council. And why should I do that? Because my dad's salary is higher than hers. Do you have any proof? Yes, in fact, I'll show you now. What? How is this possible? 
Well, it's clear Amara's dad's salary is higher than Jessica's. So she will be the new president starting today. What? Sir, you can't do that. And according to what I said yesterday, I'm kicking you out of the school. Since you're the new president, do you want to make any new rules? Yes, I want to change the money rule. Anyone should be able to study at the school, no matter how much money they have. Congrats on being the new president. Thank you. I'm going to the canteen. I'll tell them you'll pay for my food later since you have so much money. Bye. Hey, wait. It will rain every time I sleep or every time I eat. Sleep, of course, because usually it's good to sleep while it rains. Mom, can you take me to school? I can't take you because I have work to do. But I'm going to be late. That's not my problem. This is the right time to try out my strength. Wait, what? How comes it's suddenly raining so much? Okay, fine. I'll take you to school. Hey, Emily. Why do you look so sad? Jake, he's dating Stephanie. And what's wrong with that? We were childhood friends. I thought one day me and him... Come on, stop crying. You should never cry for a boy. I'm not going to maths class later. Yeah, as always, you skip maths to go play basketball. No, this time I have permission. I'm going to Germany for a basketball game. Just pray it doesn't rain. Don't worry, it won't rain. I'm not sleepy. What do you mean, babe? Um, nothing. Have a safe flight. <sighs> Why do I feel so sleepy? Why is it raining? Amara, wake up! What's wrong? You scared me. How come the rain stopped immediately? Try sleeping again. Gosh, you can control the rain. Yes, it rains every time I sleep. Whoa, so cool. Have you done the homework? Huh? What homework? Sir so said anyone who hasn't done the homework is getting a detention. I'll just sleep. Sir so called the principal and said he's not coming in for the next lesson because it's raining. But what about the homework? I know you slept so that Sir wouldn't check our homework. Yeah, so what? I know your boyfriend would be really angry with you because you made it rain. Oh yeah, I forgot he had a flight to Germany today. Honey, remember, Justin has a flight today. Don't sleep so it doesn't rain. Wait, what did mom just say? Amara, wake up! I didn't even sleep. Yes, you've been sleeping for five hours. I've been trying to wake you, but you didn't wake up. Five hours? How about Justin's flight to Germany? I don't know, but hopefully he'll arrive safely to his destination. Amara, I got news about Justin. His flight got cancelled and postponed until tomorrow. Thank God he's safe. This time you have to watch out. You can't sleep. This is all your fault. My flight got postponed because of you. I'm sorry. I forgot you had a flight. If you sleep again today, I'm breaking up with you. Don't. I still love you. Do you promise not to fall asleep until I get to Germany? I promise. It's already midnight. It's time for you to go to sleep, honey. No, I don't want to sleep until Justin gets to his destination. He hasn't left yet, so it's okay if it rains. No, today I'm not sleeping at all. Okay, up to you, but don't say I didn't tell you. Hey, guys. Oh my gosh, Amara, you look really tired. Didn't you sleep tonight? No, I can't sleep yet. Class, we're going to be taking an exam. Exam? Oh, I can't. Amara, what are you doing? It's starting to rain. Don't sleep. I'm really sleepy. I don't think I can do this exam. Don't worry. I'll help you. You look tired. How long until your flight? I'm going to the airport now. My flight is in one hour. Don't sleep. Yeah, okay? don't worry. I won't put you in danger. Okay, I trust you. I need to go now. Bye. Mom, I'm home. Remember, honey, don't sleep. I'll make you a coffee. Maybe it will help. Yeah, make it extra strong. My eyes are burning. Let me just close them for a moment. Why is there a storm outside? Amara, wake up! Amara, wake up! Wow, you're really stubborn. It's time I try something else. Ouch! You're hurting me. Why are you pinching me? You've slept for two hours and now there's a storm. Sorry, Mom. I'm just too tired. How was Justin's flight? Still no news. Maybe he's still on the plane. <sighs> Amara, you slept again. What is wrong with you? You put Justin's life in danger. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't sleep all night. Have you heard anything back from him? No. I thought he would call you once he arrived. He still hasn't called. Let me know if he does. Did you see what happened down the road? 
There was a flood and so many cars got damaged. Yes, I know. The water reached my house as well. This is really bad. I really hope they can catch the person responsible for this. Me too. Who are you calling? I've been trying to call Justin, but he's not answering. It's your fault if something bad happens to him. Stop making me feel guilty. I think we have to destroy Amara. It's true. She's causing trouble for everyone. Oh my gosh, look. That's her. Hey, I'm having a hard time too because I'm trying to not fall asleep for all of you. It's better if we just get rid of her now. You think that will solve the problem? If you get rid of me, I'll sleep forever. That means there's gonna be a storm forever. Why is there no news about the plane? I'm starting to get worried. This is the girl. What are you doing? Why is the police here? Because you're responsible for Justin's disappearance. What? No, I'm not. And besides, no one knows what happened to him. Maybe his phone died or something. Justin's finally calling me, Mom. Come on, pick up. We're all worried. Hey, babe, where are you? Is it true that this is Justin's girlfriend? Huh? This is not Justin's voice.